Once you install Facebook Conversion API, you'll start to see uh, a score for each event called event matching match quality. Event match quality. Uh, what it means? Are there any ways you can improve it? I get a lot of questions about event match quality because um, most users have relatively low quality for most of their events, and there are some very good reasons for this. Uh, let me explain you how it works. Uh, event match quality is based on um, the matching that Facebook is able to do be be between um, pixel or conversion API, actually in this case conversion API events sent to them by a website and um, a Facebook account, a Facebook user account. So if they're able to match the person to an account, they can um, deliver better ads, they can target them and so on. Um, the match quality will be higher if they are not able to match uh, the events to an account the match quality will be lower and how does matching work is based on personal information you can send to Facebook with your events uh, usually this is information we can find in cookies at browser level like uh, something called FBC or FBP I think Facebook browser click and Facebook browser uh, pixel maybe I'm I don't know exactly the names because uh, I don't remember where Facebook explains the terminology but those are the ideas these are the ideas behind them when someone lands on a page the Facebook pixel adds a cookie with a value and this cookie is uh, the FBP and if someone clicks on an ad sometimes Facebook has something called FBC which is the Facebook browser click um, again stored in a cookie it's a long string and it helps identify the mm, match the the event with a, a Facebook account now if we can find those uh, cookies we definitely send the values together with our conversion API events but sometimes we simply cannot find the cookies for various reasons there was no pixel to install for example the FBP or uh, that client didn't click on an ad before so there is no FBC or the cookies were simply deleted or um, the pay the visitor used a different browser or uh, it was on mobile and on mobile I think Facebook doesn't use FBC at all they use something else so for various reasons there is no um, cookie we can use to track those values in these cases uh, we send the user IP and very uh, little information for most visitors but if the user is logged into uh, a website we can send more information we can send the email address which works very well we can send the name the first name and the last name if we are talking about uh, clients WooCommerce clients or easy digital downloads cloud in, in the case of pixel your site uh, we can send extra information like uh, phone numbers address a lot of stuff that will improve matching but when this happens usually it happens when someone uh, buys something from your website so events like purchase will have a better match matching score but events like page view will have a low matching score because page views are fired for everybody anyone visiting your website it's impossible to have uh, email phone number uh, address data about everyone visiting your website it's impossible to have fbc or fbp for everyone visiting your website so we will just send the ip address that might not be that useful for matching so for this kind of uh, events happening at a very 
um, bottom of your funnel, we will send uh, not very good information for matching. Once they go up and they start to log in, start to buy something from you, we will be able to send better matching, uh, higher quality information for your uh, visitors. This is why purchase events, for example, will have a better score than page view. Uh, now, what can you do to improve matching score? The thing, the thing that comes to my mind is to find a way to convince your website visitors to log in earlier. If you are able to do this, we can start to send information from their account with all the events they trigger. So this is the only trick coming to my mind. Find a way to make your user to log in earlier. Once they are logged in, we can uh, use their email addresses, phone numbers, and information you might have with conversion API events. Uh, important, you must have their permission first. So consent does apply to uh, Facebook conversion API as well. So uh, don't assume that uh, you can send conversion API events just because it's technically possible. No, no, you, you should also manage con the consent part very well and ask for permission or at least depending on your um, legislation, inform your visitors about this kind of um, tracking. So that's something you should consider. Um, this is this is the explanation explanation about the very low conversion uh, the event match quality. Some events have, especially the events that are fired for everybody visiting your website. And I think in time things will get better. Facebook will find better ways to match um, users to Facebook accounts and probably they will update their API and we will update uh, our code as well, improving matching quality. But for now, there are serious limitations, so there is not that much we can do about it. Again, a simple, well, in theory, a simple strategy. Uh, it's simple for me to recommend it, but it might be harder for you to implement it, uh, would be to encourage your visitors to log in earlier. This is uh, how matching can be improved.